Department, and we have with us OEM Commissioner Stephen Morelli, Deputy County Executive for Parks and Public Works Brian Schneider, DPW Commissioner Ken Arnold, and Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder. And I want to thank the team for always rising to the challenge, whatever that challenge is. So, uh, newsflash, it's raining and it will continue to rain. Uh, we've, we're seeing some accumulation, especially in our low-lying coastal areas. And something that is of concern is the fact that uh, the wind should really start picking up around 2 p.m. this afternoon and then continue into tomorrow morning. So the ground is saturated with high winds. We're looking out for the potential of falling trees, falling limbs, downed power lines. Uh, we've only had a couple of dozen so far power outages in Nassau County. So that's going well, but we're monitoring the storm very closely. Uh, we know that we're having our high tides coming around 4 p.m. on the North Shore, around noon on the South Shore. So when that coincides with rain and wind, we could see more flooding. We're asking people to please drive carefully. There have already been about 16 car crashes on our roads, mostly on the North Shore. So please, you know, we just cannot remind people enough, be careful drive with caution if you see a puddle up ahead if you can safely avoid it please do these are often deeper than they appear we don't want to see cars being totaled uh, on, you know on the side of the road so uh, we are keeping a watchful eye on this nor'easter and you know I want to it does not appear, now we know Mother Nature can trick us sometimes and change course, but it does not appear at this time that this nor'easter will have the same deluge as we saw with Ida. We got three inches of rain within one hour with Ida. That was the most we've seen in an hour since we started keeping records in 1941, in 80 years. That was a un very unusual event. Uh, we, you know, we were able to be eligible for FEMA reimbursement after Ida. We've had about 19,000 households apply for that help. We do not expect this to be on that scale, but it's always a good idea to stay careful, stay cautious. Now, um, our DPW crews have been out there before the storm, making sure that the storm drains, the catch basins, the outfall pipes are all clear. There are leaves on the trees. Those trees are, those leaves are falling. It is autumn, so we're starting to see some clogging around our catch basins, doing our best to keep them as clear as we possibly can. But, you know, if you have one outside of your house and it's safe to do so, you could help out keeping the drainage happening by clearing those leaves. If you're able to do it in a safe way, that would be appreciated. But rest assured, our crews are out there making sure that our drainage is working and this water can flow out as quickly as possible. Our medics, our police department are on standby to help anyone who gets in trouble out there. And again, I want to thank the team here at the Office of Emergency Management, which was activated yesterday, uh, because as we know, it is always better to be overprepared uh, than be caught off guard. And, and again, Mother Nature can be quite fickle. She can change her mind, so we want to stay a step ahead. Uh, anything I may have missed? All right. Any questions? Do you expect the rain to continue through the day as the wind picks up? Yes, we do expect the rain to continue, but this will primarily become more of a wind event as the afternoon continues. But we do expect the rain to continue falling through tomorrow. Thank you very much.